dear Katie, it has been amazing to see you mature into a responsible, caring, driven, and wonderful woman. You inspire me with how much you are able to do with each of your days and how you maintain balance. It makes me strive to do better. I will treasure our time together and will always be excited to come home to you and continuing to grow our relationship. And I will put as much effort into making sure our family has the best life as I possibly can. I love you so much, Katie. I'm so glad we found each other and I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. Heartbeat in the quiet Spotlight in an empty room A song in the silence Let us stand to greet the bride. Dear Teddy, I can't believe the day is finally here. It still doesn't feel real that today I get to marry you, Edward Joseph Hoffman. There is an infinite number of things I love about you, Teddy. I love your quirky, almost too weird sense of humor and the fact that you can make me full belly laugh better than anyone in this world. I love your ability to keep me grounded and make me feel safe. I love your loyalty to me, our relationship, and of course, to Daphne. But truthfully, I love every last thing about you, and I couldn't imagine a better man for me. As your wife, I promise to be by your side for all of the ups and downs. I love you so much, Teddy, and simply cannot wait to be your wife. I started to wonder something I can't deny In a moment unfolding before my very A marriage ceremony should remind us of what is most important in life, and that is our relationships, our loved ones, those to whom we are committed in life and in love. And so, Haiti and Teddy's love brought us here today, and I suspect it's their wish that that love overflow a little bit into every one of our lives, so that by the time we conclude our festivities this evening, hopefully we would have had a chance to renew the love not only for them, but for each other. When my brother first talked to me about this girl he had recently begun dating, he was smiling and he could barely contain his excitement about us wanting to meet her. And when I finally met the woman who was having such a profound effect on my brother, I could definitely see why. She always puts others' needs before her own and is blended in very well with our dog-loving Hallmark-watching family. <laughs> Teddy, Katie, we are all so happy that you have found each other, and we are all excited for what the future has in store for you. And with that, let us raise our glasses to the new bride and groom. I wish you both a lifetime of love and happiness together. To Teddy and Katie. Katie, growing up, had a little bit overboard obsession with the movie Twilight. So, my hope for you is that you have a love as everlasting as Edward and Bella. I love you both so much and wish you a lifetime of love and happiness. So, everyone, raise your glass to the Hauptmans. Cheers. Love you.
looks so beautiful. In ancient Greek, there were many words for love. Unlike English, we only have one word. And we use adjectives to describe the kind of love. And the love that was chosen by the apostle is the Greek word agape. And that word specifically means unselfish and unconditional love. And so we are praying that you will be able to, little by little, attain this kind of love. Nobody's born with it, by the way. This kind of love you actually have to work at, you actually have to learn it. That's why you're getting married for, for life, because it's going to take that long to really do it. <laughs> I, Edward, take you, Catherine, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as we both shall live. I, Catherine, take you, Edward, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as we both shall live. To me, Teddy has been a roommate, a peer, a colleague, a video game teammate, a double date partner, and a brother. But out of all the hats that he's worn, I think that we can all agree that our favorite is fiance to Katie. Like everyone else here, I feel privileged to know you both and to see what great heights you'll achieve together forever and always. To Dr. and Mrs. Hoffman, cheers. Edward, take this ring as a sign of my love and my fidelity in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now you'll do the same. Catherine, take this ring as a sign of my love and my fidelity in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I now pronounce and we all recognize and acknowledge you as husband and wife. You make it. Doctor and Mrs. Edward Hoffman. I'm a big fancy car with the top back and shopping bags filled to the brim in the back seat. I'm going fast. Please join me in congratulating Teddy and Katie and wishing them a long and happy life together. One day, when the pictures have faded, the cake is long gone, the flower girl is all grown up, and the ring bearer and you're finishing each other's sentences, you're gonna look back on this beautiful day that started it all and say, look what we did. So with that, let the games begin. Cheers.
have always looked up to Teddy in every aspect. He has been giving me advice all my life, and some of it is not so good, like how to find free gum under tables at restaurants. 